Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and of course, I'm here in magnificent South Africa with a rare opportunity to check out a really cool collection of venomous snakes, indigenous to this country. And I mean, I love these things. Got a little bit of help from our sponsor at Ultimate Reptile Supplies. I hope you guys enjoy this week's show on Criticam. Australia has some of the most venomous snakes in the world, but on par, so does Africa. And the rare opportunity to come here to the clean farm to check out some of these cool animals is once in a lifetime. Hope you guys enjoy exactly what we're going to see and do today. Righto, Warren, what, what have we got here, man? This, this is, is a, a snouted cobra, and it's a beautiful banded specimen. He definitely is. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is a cobra. I mean, well, this one's just a really relaxed specimen, so it's not really intimidated. It doesn't feel any need to stand up and spread a hood as a, a wild one would normally do. No, definitely. It looks like he actually wants to climb up into my pocket right now. Yeah, he's just keen on going in that direction. It doesn't matter if you're there or not. So, I'm in his way, really. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't get the opportunity to play with any of these particular species of snakes because, you know, I'm from Australia and we For don't sure. get any exotics at all. But, um, Comparing this to an Australian snake, I mean, it's got a big chunky head like a tiger snake. An Australian tiger snake, you know, they've got those big giant venom glands, that long slender body. Yes, but also, sure. the, the, the chunky body, that reminds me very much of some of the Australian black snakes. It's going away, come back here. Chunky body, and as you said rightly, so like the big puffy side of the head there, you can see the big venom glands, and then of course the big head scales like most elapids have. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. This particular species, egg layer? This is an egg layer, and this one could lay almost about 30 eggs. Wow, I mean, that's, that's a huge amount of eggs. For an Australian species, I mean, we're talking probably 15 would probably be the max for some of our species of egg laying species. I have heard on some uh, um, unique occasions that pretty large specimens like this have laid up to 40 eggs. That's huge. I mean. He is quite active, I mean, it's not a, an aggressive thing that he keeps coming towards no, me. No, definitely I not. I mean, good thing I'm not very paranoid, otherwise I'd be really <laughs> upset right now. They're thinking that he's got it in for me, you know, and he's after me. But, I mean, that's one of the things that most people don't understand about venomous snakes. Is well, this really just when, does show and reinforce the fact that they're not out there to get you. He's just moving through, you're not hurting the snake. It feels relaxed. I mean, he's absolutely got... Look at the scales, the scales are massive. Just the body scales themselves are quite large. Yes, almost a velvety touch to them too. He's absolutely gorgeous. And of course the snout at Cobra, you can see the sharp snout. Yes. This species actually formerly used to be known as the Egyptian Cobra. Right, um, okay. And it was thought, um, well the Egyptian Cobra does actually occur high up in Africa. This is Niger Hydra. So this one has actually been elevated to a full species. Okay. Niger and Elifera, snout at Cobra. Oh, I mean, he's... He's gorgeous, he's excited <coughs> to be out by the looks of it. I mean, you guys over here are really lucky. I mean, you guys have got some chunky snakes and I mean, some of my favorite animals are the Australian death adders. You guys have got something very similar, but they're vipers. For sure, this is the land of the puff adder. Yeah, no, let's, um, let's get stuck into some puff adders, eh? For sure, so, I've got some. I mean, that is gorgeous. The yellows and the oranges, that is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know, beautiful coloration. Um, this specimen, I mean, it's, it's so striking right now, but you can't believe in the same breath that they can camouflage so well into the environment. I mean, just the dapple colours, yeah, I mean, that's almost like the, the sun coming through, hitting the leaf litter, very much like the Australian death adder. I mean, it's got that big chunky head, like massive venom glands, I can see there. But these guys have actually got a, a huge strike range, haven't they? Well, it's pretty much the length of their body, but more so is this, the wow. speed of their strike, which it would be comparable with your death adder. I mean, it's it's in the blink of an eye, you can't see it with the eye. If you're in range, it will get you. It'll get you big time, yeah. I mean, last year I came out and I got the opportunity to play with a black mamba. For me, that was, that was like a life thing to do, you know, to get my hands on a big black mamba and play with it, that was absolutely amazing. And also, the gaboon adders, I mean, I'm an adder guy, gaboon adder, gaboon viper, I, I, whatever terminology you want to use, it was just absolutely amazing. These guys here, also capture my eyes and, and passion because I really love the shape of that animal, you know, that robust size. But that would be a big death adder. 
Yeah. I mean, you don't see too many Australian death adders that size. These guys think, actually get bigger, so. right? No, they, they do get bigger than this. Um, this is a, a mature specimen. It's a large adult, but they have been known to get bigger than this. Higher up in Africa, they also get um, to larger sizes. But um, he's in pretty good condition. You can see he's also got there's his long tail over there. So these, do these guys call a lure like a death no, adder? No, no, they don't call a lure at all. They are a sit and wait ambush predator. I mean, they might sit in the same position for days, you know tucked in the leaf litter amongst the grass waiting, usually on a rodent trail, like maybe underneath a tree where um, fruit or seeds might fall, or on specific trails that rodents use, they sniff them out and sit and wait. For so just an ambush on. predator just sits and waits, doesn't actually encourage it, anyone in, just sitting there waiting mm. for that. This animal, so an animal of this size, what, what's the fang length that we're sort of looking at? Because I know an Australian death adder, you know, the death adders have probably the largest fangs mm. out of all the Australian species of the lapids. And I mean, uh, an animal, you know, two to two and a half feet would have a fang length bit, around about 10 millimetres. This is certainly like one cylinder. of the, the contenders for the largest fangs of any African snake. Um, probably will only be surpassed by the, the gaboon, the gaboon oh, adder, yeah. but <laughs> this snake could have a fangs probably about uh, maybe three centimetres to four centimetres long. Man, that is massive. And, and I, I'm guessing that they deliver... Real massive pain. amounts of venom yeah, under pressure quantity. deep into the tissue of their prey. Oof. I mean that's probably why they have such long fangs to go through the fur and the feathers of the prey that they eat. Wow, I mean that guy's absolutely dropped dead gorgeous. Now um, in a captive situation, I mean with the Australian death adders we've been able to breed albinos, different colour varieties as well as scaleless and I believe you guys have been able to crack something as well. Yes, this year we hit something very special that I myself had never seen in the flesh before and uh, that is indeed the scaleless puff adder. I mean that's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to pop up a picture of that. We don't want to disturb it too much by playing with it but that thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean these, these guys are great. Yeah, really impressive snakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show where we've seen some of the awesome venomous snakes here in South Africa. I tell you what, I had an absolute blast. I don't know which one was your favourite, but I tell you now, the Gaboon Adders or Vipers are definitely my favourites. Please leave a comment below, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter and don't forget Instagram. Until next week, thanks for watching Critter Cam.